Namaskar, Namaste, Sadnam. Welcome. Homatakuyasinosyamachkasyam. Happy Easter, happy Passover, happy springtime. Blessings to us all and to our extended Saha family all over the world. <clears throat> um, I'd like to just do some short little meditative energy work to um, work with the Easter and the springtime energy. So we're going to do a little bit of Sat Kriya which um, you may want to move your move into a stable seat because you'll need to bring the arms up above you for this one and <clears throat> find a way to position yourself comfortably. Uh, often this is practiced on the knees in thunderbolt pose or it, you can also practice sitting, sitting down, it's up to you. And then we're going to do a little bit of, um, of the Bija mantras for the sacral chakra and root chakra after we do the Sat Kriya. And um, then we're going to focus on the energy of abundance and fertility and light rising from within us, creating an inner radiance, resurrecting the inner being, and also setting intentions for the true energy of the springtime and the, the abundance that is coming through the summer and um, calling upon the Christ consciousness and the Mother Mary energy, as well as the overall energy of the goddesses of springtime and abundance, Ishtar, uh, Diana, uh, Mother Earth, Pachamama, Gaia, calling in those vibrations of the divine feminine and also the vibrations of the divine masculine light energy rising through the body. So we'll be starting with Sat Kriya, which is a Kundalini Kriya. And uh, the mudra that you will hold is temple mudra. So you'll bring your index fingers together and the other three fingers wrapped over each other and then left thumb over right or right thumb over left, depending on which feels correct to you. If you're balancing your feminine yin energy left over right, if you're balancing your masculine yang energy right over left. And then the arms will come up above head, shoulders are rooted, arms are straight, um, and the arms are almost pressing into the ears, but the shoulders are rolling still back and down the spine. And when we're working with this mudra, we're also going to add a movement with the belly uh, in combination with the mantra, sat nam, which means truth, name. So the sat goes, the belly goes in, on sat and on nam, the belly goes out. Sat nam and this creates this pumping effect that eventually the air finds its way in in between in the gap of the pumping of the belly as the space gets created air comes in if you do need to take a break and take an extra half breath to get some air back into your body then feel free to take a moment and otherwise we'll follow along so we'll begin with tuning in with the adi mantra om namo gurudev namo inhaling the arms out and up palms together above head and pulling them down to your heart center on your exhale, thumbs come into the heart center. Deep inhale, big sigh. And if you don't know the mantra yet, that's okay. It's the Adi Mantra, Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. You can simply receive for this time. And if you know it, sing along. Deep inhale and to the mantra. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Deep inhale Big sigh, <sighs> inhale, exhale, releasing your hands down onto your thighs and just roll your shoulders out a little bit before we get into the Kriya, opening up the shoulders, stretching through the neck, just loosening up the upper body and the chest and the shoulder blades, maybe a little bit of light, gentle twisting to each side to wake up the spine and a little bit of rocking back and forth to wake up the spine you just alternate between creating fluidity in the shoulders and waking up the spine we'll just work on this for a couple of minutes how you feel called and what 
tensions you need to release from your body. Maybe rolling the arms in some circles and lubricating the shoulder joints. So the Kriya we're about to do, Sat Kriya, is accessing the sacral chakra and the root chakra and inviting the energies of the divine feminine and divine masculine to unite in the lower body and rise up the spine. The Ida and Pingala or the Shiva and Shakti energy rising up the spine, creating a Kundalini awakening. This is an energy uh, work or a Kriya of a um, set of actions that is made in order for us to access our infinite creative power our infinite creative life force potential. So I invite you as uh, the mantra does mean the truth is my name to focus on what your true focus in life is right now, what your true authentic nature in life is right now. What are you calling in to focus on at this time? What are you sprouting and watering and nourishing at this time? And how can you be more authentic in your creations in your life? pulling on your own creative power to really manifest those creations into your life. So inhaling the arms up into your temple mudra. Shoulders rooted, arms up, temple mudra, and we'll begin with sat, belly goes in, nam, belly relaxes. Sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam, sat, nam. Sat Nam, 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 Sat, 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 Nam, Sat Nam 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 
Sat Nam. 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 Deep inhale. Big sigh, looking up and out your third eye, focusing your eyes upward in with the eyes closed towards the third eye point. Taking five deep breaths here. Deep inhale, exhale, lower the arms down in front of you, keeping the mudra intact, zipping your aura closed, grounding the energy in, deep inhale, exhale, release the hands to the thighs, deep inhale here, big sigh. Now we're going to do some seated cat cows or cat cows in thunderbolt or hero pose. Hands, uh, fingertips just lightly over top of the knees. You're gonna inhale, chest forward, look up. Exhale, chest in, tuck the chin in, look down. Inhale up, exhale down. And mentally resonate, sat on the up, nam on the down. Eleven more. Inhale, opening the heart, gaze up. Big sigh. Exhale, folding forward all the way into a standard child's pose. Bring your forehead on top of your palms. Breathing here. And imagine yourself like a little seed, turning yourself into a seed, planting yourself in the earth. Or maybe you're an egg. You are something that is growing within about to burst and sprout into ecstatic, infinite creative bliss. <sighs> Find a deep inhale, big sigh. <sighs> Press into your palms, push yourself up to extend the arms. Looking forward, rolling the shoulders back, palms are pressed into the ground, deep inhale. <sighs> Pushing against the ground, lifting your chest up. Breathing here, <sighs> starting to gather some pressure and strength in the arms and the back. <sighs> deep inhale, big sigh. <sighs> and then inhale, reach your arms out as wide as you can. Pushing out, opening that egg or that seed and sprouting. Inhale, the arms up above head. Exhale, palms come down to your heart. Deep inhale here. Exhale, release your fingertips on either side of the hips. Lean to one side, send your legs out in front of you. Much needed release of the legs. Stretching the legs out in front of you, finding a dandasana or staff pose. 
And breathing here into the strength of the legs, opening the chest, shoulders back, hands on either side of the hips, toes pointing towards your forehead. Tucking the belly in, feeling a strong core. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold and relax the feet at the same time, folding into a caterpillar pose, the yin version of Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, sinking into this caterpillar self and letting yourself be the caterpillar entering the cocoon. Weave, weave a cocoon around yourself in your caterpillar pose. Imagine a spiral of silky, silvery, golden light surrounding your whole body, spiraling you into this cocoon. Breathing and feeling yourself transforming. Really tuning into your breath, the prana that is your life force, energy moving through you and surrounding you in a cocoon of light. And as you keep breathing, now as you are in your caterpillar, start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, wiggle a little bit side to side. You're in that cocoon and at first you only have a little bit of movement you're just going to really slowly wriggle your fingers back a little tiny, maybe two centimeters at a time, about half an inch or so, three quarters of an inch at a time, just sort of slowly wriggling into the shoulders, wriggling into the spine, and then start to rock a little bit side to side as you continue walking your hands back towards your hips. And activating the legs a little bit more, getting some vibration into the legs, maybe sort of a shaking out of the legs as you continue walking yourself up, wriggling side to side until you come up all the way, taking your own time to get there and then really start to move to one side and then the other swaying into the field of your cocoon. You're trying to break out of your barriers, break out of your obstacles, and metamorphosize yourself into the infinite powers of the butterfly, flight and beauty and prosperity radiating from you. And then as you are fully upright, once you get there, again, inhale the arms up above head. Flex the toes again, press the arms out to your sides. Deep inhale, exhale, release the fingertips down to your hips, stabilize yourself for a moment and bring your soles of your feet together into Baddha Konasana or butterfly pose or bound angle pose. And the knees opening out wide, the spine straight, bring your hands onto your ankles, Roll the shoulders back and down, big toes touching together, soles of the feet together. Breathing here. And then start to flap your butterfly wings and we're charging the sacral chakra and the root chakra here. If you feel coordinated enough, you are welcome to integrate a breath of fire. So the breath of fire, the continuous pumping of the belly, similar to the panting of a dog, pumping the belly with a forcible exhale. Again, the in-breath finds its own way.
deep inhale, big sigh, and let yourself fold forward. We'll take five breaths in a fold here, surrendering to the flow of your energy centers. Allowing the divine feminine yin energy to connect you to Mother Earth. Deep inhale, big sigh, <sighs> inhale, placing your hands in front of you and just slowly pushing yourself back up with the straight spine. And for our last part of this Kriya or whatever <laughs> it is, we'll bring the hands into Dhyana Mudra, left hand underneath the right, thumbs come together and you can place the hands down on the ground in front of your sacrum and uh, pelvic floor. And we'll just breathe in here first. And then we're going to alternate the circle of Ram, or sorry, <laughs> Lam and Bam. Lam and Bam. Muladhara with Lam and then Bam for the sacral chakra. And I invite you to focus on the cycles of life, the circles of life, the birth, the living, and the death, and the rebirthing. The birth, the living, the death, and the rebirthing. And we're starting with Lam and Vam. Lam, Vam, Lam, Vam, Lam, Vam, Lam, Vam, Lam, Vam, Lam, Vam, Lam, Vam. Lam, bam, 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 lam. Vam, Lam, 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 bam, lam, bam. Deep inhale and a long lam. Deep inhale. And a long bam. Deep inhale. Big sigh. Deep inhale. Big breath out. 
releasing your dhyana mudra, shake out the arms and return to Sukhasana. Bring your index fingers and thumbs together, other three fingers extended, palms face up on the thumbs. And we'll just do one minute of deep breathing to integrate in meditation. So breathing in to fill the belly. Slow, deep, even inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, inhale your arms up above head, palms come together in the crown chakra. Exhale, bringing the thumbs down to the heart. Deep inhale, big sigh. Just sending your body gratitude and sending gratitude out to the goddesses of the earth, the fertility and abundance of Oshum and Yemanja, Pachamama, Gaya, Unshimaka, the abundance of the Shakti force of Prakriti, manifesting nature, and the light and the fire which shines upon the Prakriti with observation and unconditional love, providing the light from which to grow. And we'll tune out of this practice with the mantra Sat Nam, a long Sat and a short Nam. Deep inhale, big sigh, inhale to close. Sat Nam. Deep inhale and release. Namaste, Satnam. Thank you for participating in this exercise this morning. May it bring you all the blessings of springtime. <laughs>